Actor Neil Patrick Harris and husband David Burka have owned some stunning properties across the USA, from New York to California. However, after offloading a couple of their estates, the duo and their children reportedly spend most of their time at their family home in the Hamptons these days. Harris and Burka acquired the 5,500 square foot home in East Hampton for $5.5 million back in 2017. This estate boasts a tennis court, swimming pool, and numerous gardens, while it gained notoriety the summer before they moved in because an exclusive sex club hosted a lavish and X-rated event there. While the mansion is gorgeous, it's no doubt that Harris needed to get the place cleaned out before moving this family in. The couple also long lived in a beautiful brownstone home in Harlem, New York, and raised their children here for about nine years. Harris's former townhome offered around 8,000 square feet and was located on Fifth Avenue, further boasting soaring 12-foot ceilings, a rooftop deck, five bedrooms, and historic charm throughout. Initially listed at $7.325 million, the house eventually sold for $7.1 million. Neil Patrick Harris and David Burka's love story is one for the ages. The pair's journey together began in the early 2000s when they first crossed paths. However, it wasn't until 2004 that they officially started dating, after meeting through a mutual friend. Their relationship quickly blossomed, fueled by mutual interests, shared values, and a deep connection. Both Neil and David are prominent figures in the entertainment industry, with Neil gaining fame for his roles in TV shows such as How I Met Your Mother and David being a respected chef and actor. Despite their busy schedules, they prioritize nurturing their bond and building a life together. In 2011, after the legalization of same-sex marriage in New York, Neil and David announced their engagement. The following year, they tied the knot in a private ceremony in Italy, surrounded by close friends and family. Their wedding was a celebration of love and equality, marking a significant milestone in their relationship. The couple's family expanded in 2010 when they welcomed their twins Gideon Scott and Harper Grace via a surrogate mother. Becoming parents was a transformative experience for Neil and David, deepening their connection and bringing immeasurable joy into their lives. They embraced parenthood with enthusiasm, cherishing every moment spent with their children and creating lasting memories as a family. Neil and David prioritized family time amidst their busy schedules, relishing in simple pleasures like movie nights, cooking together, and exploring new adventures with their children. Their home is a sanctuary, a place filled with love, laughter, and cherished memories. Now, in addition to their family life, Neil and David have made headlines for their stunning properties, including their former Harlem townhouse and their sprawling estate in East Hampton. These homes reflect their impeccable taste and commitment to creating welcoming and beautiful spaces for their family. So let's take a look. In 2022, Neil and David's longtime home in the Harlem neighborhood of New York City sold, which originally hit the market with an asking price of $7.3 million. However, the five-story property was taken off the market after a storm caused some water damage which had to be restored. Ultimately, the couple's home sold for $7.1 million, which was still a record sale for the area, and about double what they paid back in 2013. Neil and David bought the Italianate-style structure located near Marcus Garvey Park for about $3.6 million a year before they tied the knot, which was still considered a large sum for the central Harlem area. This was the family home where the duo raised their children for approximately nine years. The property offers remarkable spaciousness, boasting around 8,000 square feet of living space, rarity not only in New York City, but anywhere else too. Located on Fifth Avenue, this home provided Harris with convenient access to Broadway for his theatrical performances. Originally constructed in 1908, the home retains its charming original features such as intricate moldings, rich wood accents, a restored wooden staircase, and soaring ceilings. Renovations overseen by New York architect Jeffrey Prevero and LA designer Tracy Lenhoff worked to blend modern updates with the home's historic vibe. What was once a former bed and breakfast was actually transformed into a modern live-work residence for Neil, David, and their children who were relocating from Los Angeles. 
They created spaces like a screening room and a private study accessed through a wall hung painting on concealed hinges. Inspired by a cabinet of curiosities, Neil and David's former home was full of art, salvaged furniture, and more. Upon entering the house, you're greeted with a view of the classic woodwork included throughout, which we can see in the stunning staircase, doors, and framing. There are five bedrooms here, as well as multiple bathrooms and three cozy fireplaces throughout. The garden level of the home was used as a production office and includes a 10-seat home theater. In fact, the top floor office was hidden behind a disguised door, activated by pressing the eye of a magician on a vintage poster. There was also a vintage bar sourced from an old hotel, refurbished with modern amenities such as built-in taps. Other spaces in Neil and David's former home included a formal dining room, library, music room, wine cellar, and more, providing ample space for both relaxation and entertainment. Outdoor living is equally impressive here, with a fully furnished, irrigated, and landscaped roof deck, featuring an outdoor grill and dining area under a charming wood pergola. Notably, the chef's kitchen, featured prominently in Burka's cookbook Life is a Party, holds special significance for the couple, holding cherished memories of family gatherings and entertaining here. While the couple, along with their twins Gideon and Harper, and their beloved dogs Gidget, Spike, and Ella, have enjoyed countless moments in this home, it was definitely time to move on. These days, the family is currently spending more time at their Hamptons retreat, which sits on 13.5 acres of land. As for where the family lives now, Neil and David purchased their East Hampton, New York residence for $5.5 million in 2017. In fact, the year before the couple bought the home, the property gained notoriety because an exclusive sex club hosted a lavish and X-rated event there. While the Hamptons property is certainly a serene escape for the family, I'm sure they had to do some cleansing of the property before moving in. Neil and David's home here is situated on 13 and a half acres of land next to a 10 acre reserve, offering peace and seclusion Inside, the home spans 5,500 square feet of space, along with features like a tennis court, swimming pool, and gardens outside. The beach-themed main residence is made up of four bedrooms, each with their own ensuite bathroom and other luxury details. The 2001 built house boasts a classic shingle style exterior and traditional single pane wood windows, while the interior features cherry and ash wood floors, limestone floors, wood paneling, and plaster walls. Among the many stylish spaces, there's a French chef's kitchen, which would certainly be the perfect spot for David to cook for the family. There's a gorgeous eating nook with skylights and glass doors surrounding the space, making for a great place to enjoy meals full of natural light and a white theme. Upstairs, you'll find an upper level deck and even a rooftop hot tub. Moving outside on the grounds, Neil and David's property boasts a pool along with a pool house, a tennis court, and a renovated barn. All of this is surrounded by stunning gardens and park-like setting, while East Hampton Village is just a short distance away. As we can see from this video, Neil Patrick Harris and David Burke have crafted a life full of love, creativity, and adventure. In addition to their thriving careers in entertainment, Neil and David have created a sanctuary within their homes where they can raise their twins, hang out with their dogs, and make memories. From their elegant townhouse in Harlem to their sprawling estate in East Hampton, each property reflects their unique style and personality. While that wraps up today's video, answer this question for me before you go. Would you ever buy a home that hosted X-rated hookup parties before you moved in? Let me know down in the comments. I'm kind of a clean freak myself, so that would need a lot of work before I moved in. Maybe after like a bunch of renovations. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. I'm Care the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another one. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Kara, or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me, and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself, and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix, and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. 
There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It with Kara and we can chat.